And I think there are two very clear messages uh, that EU foreign ministers will want to get across today. First of all, um, a clear message and ask of Russia to defuse tension uh, uh, in the context of their activities on the borders of Ukraine uh, and to give reassurance to the rest of the world uh, in terms of their intentions. Um, and then secondly, uh, I think a, a strong message of unity uh, from the EU uh, that should Russia decide to invade Ukraine militarily, uh, that there would be very severe consequences of that action uh, from an EU perspective uh, in terms of uh, sanctions and restrictions that would follow very quickly uh, that I think would be uh, the most comprehensive that the EU um, uh, has put together in many, many decades. Separately to that, um, I'll be briefing my colleagues today on a notification that Ireland has received uh, from Russia in recent days uh, that they intend to, to undertake military exercises uh, about 240 kilometres off the Irish southwest coast. Um, that is in international waters, uh, but it is also part of the exclusive economic zone of Ireland. Um, and so we don't have a power to prevent this happening, uh, but certainly I've made it clear to the Russian ambassador in Ireland that it's not welcome. Uh, this isn't a time uh, to increase uh, military activity and tension uh, in the context of, of what's happening uh, uh, with and in Ukraine at the moment.